and Peter Peterson. Yeah, we're all in the same book, right? I woke up like this. They call me the stranger, <laughs> your narrator. The story begins at, well, the end. Way out west in what was the city of angels, what is now post-apocalyptic Los Angeles, 2031, <laughs> hell on earth. There's a fellow I want to tell you about, a fellow by the name of El Dudorino, son of the dude himself. They used to call him Little Lebowski before our conflict with the Nihilists. After nukes took out most of our good old U.S. of A, a different world crept its way out of the ashes. The new L.A. was a hell of metropolis of mutants and doomsday preppers hanging out for dear life. Somehow, this dude was immune to the mutations. Let's roll! Let's see, you, you gotta read the part, man. I'll cut. <laughs> Bowling was still a popular sport in 2031. El Duda, like his father before him, El Duderino loves bowling. Hell, he was pretty darn good at it, and it was the way the dude Jr. survived. Strike! Far fucking out. I'll beat you next time, Lebowski. Bum! That's just like your opinion, man. Known as a freak of nature in a time when had turned. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Known as a freak of nature in a time when nature had turned most folk into nukeheads or deadheads. There was no in between except for one special individual, El Duderino. This fact of life made our hero a very unpopular dude. Now, there were some folks that followed dudism like a faith. A path of inner peace and the power of the flower, a religion of sorts, Melissa Ballard. These dudes were well aware of El Duderino and just how special he was. This was the dude for his time and place. The LA evil forces were hell bent on these dudes' priests' demise for the double whammy of the Lebowski DNA made Jeffrey Lebowski Jr. immortal. <coughs> A modern day life <coughs> roaming the wasteland. Shit, yeah, cheating. <laughs> Mind if I smoke a J? <laughs> That's right. El Duderino spent most of his time scavenging for scraps of cannabis, much like Jeffrey Peterson does <laughs> in Kahula and the rest of his beverage needs. <laughs> a drink in a cup <coughs> helped a dude cope. Like, hmm, someone's trying to tell El Dude, and they smell a little gamey. That game. Yep, that's on him, all right. Bunch of assholes. Same shit, day after day. One day soon, new shit will come to light, and the unspoken message will be heard, man. This is the dude. Just take it easy, dude. One false move, and I'm cremated. For a bunch of dudes that believe in nothing, they make a lot of fucking noise. Moron. Oh, fucking nihilist. Dead beat. Off. Hella, hell A was no walk in the park. Them evil forces I was talking about made some nihilists look like ants at a picnic. The queen of the underground, the ruler of North Hollywood, a cold hearted former porn star, Power Man. The royal we, ruthless conjoined twins, rulers of the West Hollywood. Even still, the dude abides across the sands of time, taking it easy, making it look easy too, in spite of Doomsday. This was why they followed El Duderino. The dudist priests meet up and make a plan. <coughs> I've been a private dick for years. It's him. <coughs> I'm the number one bounty hunter in L.A. Well, we must all be gentle with our fellow dude. He's very fragile. Fucking hell. This is his dudeness, the urban achiever. Special lady made a fine leader for now. You can count on Brother Seamus. The 
bear is behind you all the way, lady friend. <laughs> Thank you, Duda. Along with nice Marmo, we will abide. Fucking Marmot. Marmot. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the home of the fake millionaire meeting, a wicked man makes dastardly plans to capture a hero. I want El Duderino. If you can't get me that stoner, I know who can. But sir. Put the word out that I am paying bowlers in pot. When that pothead gets wind of that, he will be mine. Somewhere in the LA area. Dude, you're already late. It's already 10. I'm on my third dance cycle. <laughs> Enter the land. Welcome to Armageddon Gardens. This was a city park. It used to be called Griffith Park. I'm here, man. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Looking to score some grass, dude? Well, um, yeah. A bowling tournament, all for pot. The old L.A. Zoo. Good luck. I'm in, man. Almost out of J's. Thought so. The Los Angeles Zoo. Fuck in A. Oh shit. I'm dealing with morons here. Hey goons. Anyone want to go bowling? Ah. Uh, fuck yeah. El Duterino entered a world of pain. There was no exit. Come with us. You sure don't want to stop? Shut the fuck Take up. Take a nap, man. Well, if it isn't the infamous El Duterino, you are now employed. Employed? Hey, Mr. Boss, man, who the fuck are you? I am the walrus! <laughs> <laughs> and now for this commercial break. <laughs> now, where was and I? And back to our regularly scheduled Oh, yeah, program. our hero, El Dude, got himself in a fucking pickle. He was a prisoner of the walrus, and there was no escape. And the walrus is smoking a bong right now, so I'll we'll be back in one second. <laughs> Well, El Duderino, I see you have met my goons, Bob and Dylan. Maybe you failed to notice the park is closed. Uh, nice to us. What are you fucking park ranger, man? No harm intended. I came to roll, man. Yes, bowling for pot. That was just a hoax. Ha! Huh. To get you here. Your life is in my hands, Mr. Lebowski. Shake it easy, mammal. <laughs> I just came to throw some rocks, man. Now all I gotta do is get stoned. Mind if I do a J? Yes, the walrus minds. If you value your life, you listen to what I have to say. Help me. I need you to be my ringer in a bowling tournament against my enemy. Ah, fuck it. I guess I, I got no choice, man. Let's go bowling. Meanwhile, the Achiever had a little powwow in the city. Nothing. Nothing. There's no trace of El Duterino Nothing. anywhere. We've got to buck up. We're fucking this up, man. Nothing is fucked. We have got to mellow out. Our way of thinking has become very uptight. Very undued. We can't bring this negative energy into our experience. This affects us all, dude. This is not the end of the world. It just seems like it is. We've got to go the dude way, you know? Take a sip, do a J, maybe a bong rip. Far out, Marmon. Pass that J my way. Well, there you have it. The Achievers limbered up, in a manner of speaking, the sacred herb kind of cleared things up a bit. Do you see what happens when we abide like his dudeness? Yeah, we're ready now. New shit comes to light. <laughs> Back at the bowling tournament, the walrus stood across with him, his nemesis, Moses. After my champion defeats you, Nihilist, I own your shit. I own you, Pentejo. <laughs> hey, man, no hard feelings. This is just a game, dude. Fucking Quintana, that creeping roll, man. Bowl! <laughs> El Duterino and the enemy were getting strikes left and right, frame after frame, until the final frame. Just like that. Boom! Strike! 
the little Lebowski won the whole enchilada. Winning ain't easy in the wasteland. That's why the crowd went wild. Nobody fucks with the Moses, man. <laughs> Careful, man. Hey, there's a dude here. You are dead, dude. Wow. Put the dude down and no harm will come to you. Who the fuck are you, man? The, the Achievers! achievers. Hey. <laughs> Fucking Nazis! Over the line! He was threatening you, man. Just take it easy, man. Take it easy. I still have so much to learn about dudism, your dudeness. <laughs> your fucking troubles are not over. Kill them. Oh no. What, what do, do we, we do, do now? now? We're surrounded. What's that thing in the sky? It's a rug. Not just any old rug, you see. This here floor covering was special. It was the rug that tied the world together. I have a magic carpet, man. It belonged to my mother. 